Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I've got some incredible announcements to tell you about this week, particularly in the automation space. AWS announces a new service called EC2 Fleet, AWS Service Catalog introduces the ability to chain the launch of multiple products, AWS Code Pipeline supports push events from GitHub, we are going to be at the London Summit on the 10th of May and also we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me Faye Ellis. AWS announces a new service called EC2 Fleet, and this is a new feature that simplifies the provisioning of Amazon EC2, and it lets you provision new instances across different EC2 instance types, availability zones, and across different pricing models. So you can specify a target capacity, which EC2 instance types you want, and how much of your fleet should be on-demand, reserved instance, and spot purchase models. So your fleet will then launch using the lowest price combination of instances to meet your target capacity requirements. And we are really looking forward to getting our hands dirty with this amazing new feature. AWS Service Catalog introduces the ability to chain the launch of multiple products. And for those who don't know, Service Catalog is used by enterprises to organize, govern and provision cloud resources on AWS. And it now allows you to chain together the launch of multiple products and build dependencies into your launch configuration. So for example, you can launch a new EC2 instance and then have your completed inst instance initiate the creation of your RDS database. AWS Code Pipeline supports push events from GitHub via webhooks. And Code Pipeline is a continuous delivery, uh, continuous integration service and it can now ex execute a pipeline in response to events in GitHub. So when a change is made to your code repository in Git, Code Pipeline can receive a webhook, which can then trigger a pipeline execution. And this is a really big improvement on the previous behavior of Code Pipeline, which was to periodically check if there was a change in the repo. The AWS London Summit is being held on the 9th and 10th of May at the Excel and me, Ryan and the rest of the London team are going to be attending on the 10th of May. So if you see us there, please don't hesitate to come and say hi, we'd love to meet you. And after the event on the 10th of May, we're also going to be holding drinks for students at the Fox Bar from 6pm onwards. So if you'd like to come, please register using the link below. We can't wait to meet you. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was B, C, and E, and only a couple of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Felipe Martina, and Felipe is a cloud solution architect for 3XM, and he is also the organizer of the AWS Honolulu user group meetup. So congratulations to Felipe, we're going to be sending you a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card in the post, and you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to join us at reInvent 2018. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.